Alrighty, welcome back to the Chrono Cross Let's Play. I love, I love this area. Oh god, I'm about to get attacked. I don't, <laughs> I don't have analog on yet. I'm about to get attacked. Um, hope you all had a great week while we were gone. Uh, I had quite the eventful week, not in a good way, but now we're here play some Chrono Cross and actually the last couple days have been great it was just the beginning of the week that sucked who's watering my wife exactly this must be the center of the Dead Sea all this chaos must have spread out from here what does that say the building seemed to have melted into one giant conglomeration. What's up with this place? Ah, uh, sleeping's overrated. Are those zombies or robots? Or mannequins? Oh, that'd be so cool if it were mannequins. Because this looks like a shopping mall or something. It is a shopping mall. Oh my god, they're mannequins. Are they mannequins? Oh my god, they're mannequins. <laughs> I should I should have known. I should have known they'd be mannequins. Uh Uh the wife's okay. She's still dealing with Poison Ivy, but it's getting better finally. For those of you that haven't been here, my wife got some absolutely radical Poison Ivy over the weekend. Well, la la actually like last week. It's been over a week now. And uh, we've been to the urgent care twice for it because it's like just not getting better. She had to go through two different types of steroids. But now it's finally getting better. So hopefully it keeps getting better. I know, my I still have like the starting equipment. I'm blowing it here. I mean, in all honesty, I haven't needed anything else, so... I'm starting to get to the point now where bosses are starting to get hard, so I might need to upgrade my equipment. But I'm kind of glad I haven't up to this point, because it's kept things interesting. Plus, I don't actually know exactly how to upgrade equipment, so... It's not like it's my choice, but... I know there's those guys that can, like, do it, but I didn't have any of the stuff for it before. And I don't know if I have it now, either. I also don't know how easy it would be to go back now that I'm here. I might find myself in a in a pickle because you can't really grind in this game either like you can, but it's different. You can't just go up a couple levels. You gotta find stuff that actually gets you meaningful stats. What am I gonna do? I think it was a 101 PS4. Uh, this game is pretty simple. Like, it's, it's complicated on the back end, but please present your station pass. Okay. Um, like, it's, it's very unique, but it's not hard to learn. Like, it's, it's pretty easy to, to understand, I think. Maybe hard to master, but it is time. You must go. You will miss the train. Okay. Yeah, Aristome was from Chrono Trigger. It's still not clear to me 
whether or not these references are actual references or just you know the names like I don't know if that's actually Eris Dome or if it's just they took the name to reference it Yo, Nitro with the 1500 bits. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's have another fun and exciting playthrough of Chrono Cross. I'm down. Uh, what? Interesting. Speaking of which, uh,. Some people have been asking what I'm doing uh, after Chrono Cross. Um, I plan on doing a Final Fantasy VII challenge unless Scavenger Mod is done. Trashy Tiara. Interesting name. Um, if Scavenger Mod is done, then I'll be doing Scavenger Mod next. If not, then, uh, I'll be doing some kind of Final Fantasy VII challenge. Oh, I really like this song, so that's cool. What's wrong, Surge? Did you sense something? Ghosts! Are you alright? <laughs> He's like, nope. What? You saw a child? I didn't see a child anywhere. Nothing will surprise moi here. Let's just keep going. Entry number one. Yo, I'm Amanda and I am 14 years old. I love to sing in the black rain. Nice to meet you. Entry number two. I'm Marvel. I'm 16 and I'm a Taurus. My proudest accomplishment is the black hole. Nice to meet you. Entry number three. Tina here. I'm 16 and a Libra. My future goal is to fireball. Nice to meet you. Entry four. I'm Richard. I'm 29 and I'm here to protest beauty something. My hobby is poison gas. God, Richard. Just going around spreading poison gas.
Oh wow, they're not dead. See, like, all the enemies I'm fighting are just giving me HP. Which doesn't really help. Need to find some enemies that actually give me some stats. Which I don't know if those exist anymore. Might just be bosses. My boy might go Matt with the one year resub. Let's hear it in the chat. Welcome back. Enjoy your beautiful red materia badge. Thanks so much for being here for a whole year. What am I supposed to do with this prop sword? I can't equip it, right? Love you too, Michael Mad. Thanks so much for being here. Wouldn't be a show without you. See you, George. I see that. Twitch tells you when new people pop up on the stream now. But I try not to call people out unless they actually say hi because some people like to lurk. place is creepy. We're inside a building, yet what's this thing doing in here? Hey, how's it going, Jack? This place is beyond moi. Let me say that again. French accent is literally the best you've ever heard. Oh, okay. I found a hidden chest. <laughs> I saw what you said. I was kind of trying to ignore it. I know this game has a lot of unique... Uh, unique uh, accents. Although I said something about that. I said like there's a lot of different languages in this game and someone like reamed me for it. They're like, no, there's not. <laughs> there's French and English and that's it. And everything else you're just making up. Okay. I said like, I said it was, uh, it took a lot of inspiration from a lot of different languages and they were like, false, false, not true. Okay.
It is unfortunate, but it appears they were held ca captive here before they died. It's too late. They are so close, yet so far, no one can help them. Do they really say Zem? <laughs> that seems... That seems really, uh... Really French. Everything's a Z. I mean, the only way you get more French than that is to just actually speak French. <laughs> yeah. French trying to be English. How about English trying to be literally any other language? That's the that's the yikes. I remember when I was in Spanish, um, somebody asked, they were like, if we go to Mexico and we speak like you're teaching us to speak, what are people going to think? And our teacher was like, they're going to think you're an idiot. <laughs> because... The Spanish, first of all, the Spanish you learn in Spanish class isn't Mexican Spanish at all. Like, their Spanish and, like, Spanish Spanish is totally different. Um, but second of all, like, you learn to be super proper just because that's the right way to learn the language. It'd be like, it'd be like in English if you, if you taught someone to say, like, Hello, my name is Magic Man. And then you, like, went to, I don't know. New York and walked around going hello my name is magic man everyone would be like <laughs> so it's like it's like the same thing that no one talks like the way you learn it so uh, you know you'd sound like an idiot going around speaking hola me llamo Michael I would be like okay <laughs> but then on top of that Mexican Spanish is a lot different they, uh, they speak it a lot differently, they speak it a lot faster, and uh, they cut out like a ton of syllables. So uh, it's, it's kind of like here, the same, it's the same way here when you go to different places in America, people will cut out syllables or like shorten things because that's just the way they talk. Something something biblioteca. <laughs> Yeah, the, like, Mexican Spanish is, like, so much slang that if you just go around going, Hola, me amo. Hola, me amo. <laughs> People are just going to look at you like you're an idiot. Are you alright? What's wrong? You've been acting strangely ever since we entered the building. Is it that child again? There's no turning back now. We must keep going, Serge. I mean, I'm acting strange because I'm a freaking giant cat. Maybe you just leave me alone, dude. I'm have I'm I'm going through a phase. I think I'm a giant cat. This doesn't look sketchy at all. You try acting normal with a forehead like this. My forehead goes on for miles. A sunset? Have the clouds from the Dead Sea cleared up? It appears that the dimension itself is more unstable here than else elsewhere. It's a time and space within a structure completely different from anywhere else. Luckily, the distortion to leave this place is still here. That's good news for us. Dude, I freaking love Janice. She like randomly joined the party without any idea what was going on and now she's like a genius. <laughs> I love how these characters join like out of pure random but then they like actually know the plot. Ooh. Little Chrono Trigger. Is it going to tell me I'm still hungry? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on, say it. <laughs> yeah! Still hungry. <laughs> I was waiting for it. They gave it to me. 
Am I a good artist? Uh, that depends. Is terrible artist the same as good artist? Come back, children. I just want to play Fortnite with you. Oh, I could have gotten that chest. You're gonna have to wait, creepy children. I want this chest. <laughs> Screwy dress. Screwy wabbit. For female use only, or for the closet crossdresser, dot dot dot, question mark. Alright. <laughs> well, I mean, Lynx can't equip it, so... I just realized, Janice is a rabbit girl and I just gave her a screwy dress Bugs Bunny confirmed you know who else has a forehead like this Elmer Fudd <laughs> we are now Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny and a French girl Oh my god, she could be Pepe Le Pew. Is that his name? That was his name, right? We are now literally... <laughs> we... <laughs> we are Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, and Pepe Le Pew. Sunday morning cartoons. The game, ladies and gentlemen. Looney Tunes. Did you guys ever watch uh, the Baby Looney Tunes show? I forget what it was called. It was it was literally called like Looney Tune Babies or something. Tiny t was it Tiny Tunes? It was Tiny Tunes. That show actually wasn't that bad. No, not Animaniacs. Animaniacs was amazing though. I loved Animaniacs. No, but there was a show that was like Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, um, uh, Sylvester, all those guys, all the Looney Tunes, um, Daffy Duck, and they were, but they were all babies, and they were in a daycare run by the grandma from Looney Tunes. It was actually not a bad show at all. It was actually pretty good. Yeah, now that, now that I think about it, it was called Tiny Toons, wasn't it? I was thinking it was called, like, Toon Babies or something, but no, I think it was Tiny Toon. Tiny Toon Adventures, yeah. <laughs> that show was actually not bad. It was actually, like, kind of good. 81,000. Nadia's Bell. Another Chrono Trigger reference. May our prayers for peace ring on for eternity. Oh, this song is so good. But Nadia's bell will never be heard again. Never. We, no, everyone worked to save the planet's future for nothing. It's all because of you. You killed it. You! So many lives are supposed to be saved. This planet was to be healed with love, hope, and dreams. How could you? How could you do such a thing? It's all your fault that the world is going to end up like this. It's all your fault, Serge. Murderer! Who are those children? Oh, so they can hear now. Hear them now. It's Serge's fault that the world will end up like this? 
Don't let it bother you. It's just a distant echo from ones far gone. It's just an illusion. Welcome to the Tower of Geddon. Time crash ground zero. It's been a while, Surge, but I guess you don't remember who I am. I don't blame you. You were only a little child back then. I'm Miguel, a friend of your father. According to the time outside, it's been about 14 years since the night of the storm. What is this place? I don't know, but I don't think we're supposed to know about it. That child. That wounded child. Bring him to me. Oh! <laughs> that fits perfectly. Oh, what was that? Who's there? Wait, Wazuki! Where are you going? There's no way we can set sail again in this storm. We don't have a second to waste, or else Surge will... But... I don't care what lies ahead of us. I'm going. There's no way I'll allow my son to die without a fight. I'd appreciate it if you waited for me here. Thank you for coming tonight, Miguel. Thank you. No, wait, Wazuki! And then he was fine and didn't die. Yes, I've been here for in this place for 14 years. It wasn't like this when I got here, though. An incident that occurred 10 years ago transformed it into the Dead Sea. Don't you know? There's nothing in the world as ruthless as or impartial as death. All living matter ages over time and eventually dies, no matter how mighty or tiny its life force. So being alive means you're creeping closer to death with every second. But there's none of that here. No one and nothing ages, nothing wastes away. This quiet, boundless, and beautiful world. An ideal world straight out of a fairy tale, isn't it? A place in time that belongs to no one. Res nullius. It's because this is a future that was eliminated. History is composed of choices and divergences. Each choice you make creates a new world and brings forth a new future. But at the same time, you're eliminating a different future with the choices you didn't make. A future denied of all existence because of a change in the past. A future that was destroyed even though it was born rests here, condensed into the Dead Sea. How can this be? Fate. Our lives are governed by fate. Fate knows all and controls all. No one can run from fate. Even your presence here was predestined long, long ago. Wouldn't you all like to become one with this world? To be a part of eternity? How about it, Surge? You need no longer struggle alone, nor fear an uncertain tomorrow. Well, what do you say? Refuse! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you accept. I see. I guess there's only one left thing left to do then. I take it you're trying to restore the dimensional distortion. If you defeat me and liberate this place, the distortion will return to the way it was. I guess this is it. Just as there are times of peace, there are times of war. You don't have to hold back. Attack me with all your soul if you wish to live. Let fate take its course! Oh, it's going to play this song during the fight? Epic. What's up, Nep?
Give him the carrots. shower. Gotta use that before Photon Beam. Harley's dead anyway, so. God dang. He does so much damage. I don't think I can keep Harley alive. Any combos this weak minded with Holy Dragon Sword, and it's just like impossible to defend. Harley was defending, and she still just got annihilated. Like, what in the world do I do about that? I even cast Magic Defense up. Doesn't matter. Because he literally uses weak minded and then immediately uses the sword. almost dead. I kind of want to just try to burst him, but Darn it. crap. It's not what I wanted to see. Don't kill Janice. Okay. Oh, 
God. Do I try to burst him or do I try to heal? I was going to use black. I don't think this is going to do much, but... Wow, I actually did a lot more than I thought. Yeah, I saw that coming. That's why I didn't heal, so I was like, he's just going to one-shot the next person anyways. Well, if I can heal... Oh, I got <laughs> Holy cow. That was a fight. I was going to try to heal because I figured the next... Uh, the next attack wasn't going to be a one-shot. But I got him. What sucks is only Link's got the XP. Hmm. <clears throat> But I don't think I get through that fight with people alive. <laughs> he just one-shots every couple rounds. I only have so many revives. He anti-blacked Lynx right at the end there. That's why I couldn't use a black spell at the end. Well done. That's the way, Surge. My, you have grown strong. Maybe, just maybe, you and your friends have the power to defeat FATE, in all caps, and build a new future for humanity. The Dead Sea is the true form of this planet's future. That's right. At one stage, our world was on the verge of such inevitable destruction. That was in 1999, when the parasitical li alien life form known as Lavos awoke after centuries of feeding off this planet. Lavos fell from the heavens a countless number of years ago and buried deep beneath the surface to eat and sleep. Slowly but deliberately, Lavos devoured our planet from the inside out, waiting for the time to ripen for its true awakening. Finally, Lavos did awake and manifested its true form on the surface of the planet. That's when our world faced a death from which there seemed no possibility of escape. Were it not for a teenage boy and his group of adventurer friends, that is. These young heroes caught a glimpse of this planet's future destruction as it appeared in the year 2300. They realized they could not turn their backs on our planet even if its death would not be anywhere near their lifetime. Time traveling from epoch to epoch, they battled Lavos for the future of our planet and eventually won. When saving our planet from the death Lavos was going to bring about it, they also changed the course of history. You can check out the Chrono Trigger Let's Play on 4 Productions.com. It's like he's giving us a commercial for Chrono Trigger Let's Play. At that very moment, this whole future time axis ceased to exist. Call it cause and effect, it is just a problem of possibilities after all. In this world, there are no such things as absolutes or certainties. But the future that it was supposed to have disappeared is about to be restored here. The future destruction of our planet is going to become a reality in this world once again. The vengeance of the future we killed is about to begin, with Surge serving as the trigger. Perhaps, or perhaps not. Either way, it is all part of the grand game of the gods and goddesses. Why was goddesses in quotes? People are dragged into playing this game, forced to put their own lives on the line without even knowing the rules. 
Without even being allowed to complain, they try to do their best to under the conditions placed upon them. The only alternative is to give up and leave the playing field in a forfeit. Three years ago, members of the Acacia Dragoons from Termina visited here. Those nights were after the frozen flame, of course, but instead they became salt for the, uh, for the Dead Sea. You see, only the Chosen One can approach the flame. It looks like fate has made its decision and has started to carry it out now. Fate doesn't want the frozen flame to awaken in this place at this time. It would choose to destroy the flame along with the whole Dead Sea, then to allow its flame enemies to take hold of the flame. This lost future is about to disappear into the darkness beyond the dimensions again. You have no time to spare. You must leave here immediately. Quick, go! I love you so much. That is why I sometimes desire to smash you to bits! Don't worry about me. You must go now. Farewell, Surge. The future is yours for the taking. You, the one that the frozen flame has chosen. My dear Lena, may you live in a happier tomorrow. We're not going to make it. Sudden dragon. <laughs> Sudden dargon. What is happening? The battery is low. crap hello my name is dragon Matt how's it going good to see ya <laughs> why did you help us I too would like to witness this how thou shalt live and how thou shalt die if thou art planning to bring forth a new entity prepare thyself for anguish and sorrow All right, see you later. Thanks. God, this song. To the Sea of Eden. If thou intend to defy the goddess of fate, speak with the ancient dragon gods who sit in repose in El Nido. Let the path to the Sea of Eden be known when all the powers of the sleeping dragons are brought together. In other words, that's what you have to do next, guy. Serge, you're concerned about the other world, aren't you? Giant nod. The dimensional distortion should be back in order. Let's head to El Paso Beach. Yeah, if you want to see all the Let's Plays, just go to the website and go to the Let's Play section. Or you could just do 4 slash Let's Plays with a hyphen in between. You can see all the Let's Plays we've done.
Hold on. Before we do that... Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Where should I go to upgrade my weapons? Bum, 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 bum. Termina? Bum, bum. The blacksmith. <laughs> Good call. Uh, let me think. It's been a while since we went to these towns. Uh... Who deals with the weapons? This guy over here? Shut up. No, not this guy. How's it going, Yebby? Yeah. <laughs> I still have the copper swallow. This guy. Aye, that should do it. This here forge has always had a fire since olden times. Tis sad to see it without its blaze. My apologies, closing this shop for my own selfish desires. <laughs> I love how her name is Zappa's wife. I've had to listen to ye for the longest time, and I didn't didn't want to hear ye say it's foolish now. Never mind that, dear. So you're really going? Aye. Now that I didn't have the shop no more, I'd like to say it's time to finish what we started long ago. Ye stay here and wait for Karsh's return. It's already been three years. These years haven't been too good to us. Our best patrons, the Dragoons, disappear. The poor military gets on our arses. Well, since we've had such bad luck till now, I'm sure things will be good from here on out. Our son's probably fine as well. Aye. Hey, can you make me a weapon? I'm guessing you're no from around here. Do you can a thing called the rainbow? It's a superb material that can be forged into anything. I'm thinking of searching for this rainbow. You wouldn't have mind if I join you, aye? Aye, great. Then I'll give you a wee token. Use this anytime and I'll find you and do my job. Anywhere you are. Ah, give him a word. Alright. Well. I went to the blacksmith to get weapons and instead I got a blacksmith. He's really strong. Call me anytime you like. Okay. So... Can I just... Uh, that's what I figured. Gotta be the save point. Well, that would have been useful if I did that before I went on that giant quest. Because I could have just gotten weapons whatever the heck I wanted. Alright. So... I mean, I guess the Silver Swallow is better because it's more expensive. It doesn't, like, tell me what the stats are, but I'm, I mean, I'm guessing it's better. I already have the best weapon for her. Yes, excuse me, sir. Do you forge carrots? 
I need <laughs> I need a giant carrot for my carrot lady. No. Should I make mithril mail? Ah, oh, this song is so good. All right, rest of your stuff blows. Holy crap, a moly! What is my attack now? Oh, it's not even that much more. Well, it's quite a bit more, but my my attack before was 51. Now it's 57. So yeah, that's pretty good. What's funny though is I actually have the best weapon for Harley already. And I got a carrot. So, <laughs> really, the only thing I could make was the silver swallow. But that's the important one, because he's the one that I put all my strength on. He's like my attacker. So, he was the one that needed a better weapon. I'm using the other two as like magic casters, and I'm just having Lynx be the, the damage. I right, see you, bro. So this is the dimensional gate. Then let's get going. Forehead powers. Activate. Oh, it doesn't do a movie. What the? <laughs> like dropped out of the sky. They didn't do a video for Lynx. Ah! Ah! G go away, shoo! Leave me alone! What? 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 What's going on? Yikes! Over here is a scary looking cat man! Boy, am I in a major fix. You are a nuisance. Are you planning to stand in Monsieur Link's ways? Link's way? We'll take you on. And they're gone. Phew! You saved me. I thought you were bad guys, too, from the way you look. I was looking for rainbow shells when those things started harassing me. But look, I got the shells alright. I better head back and give them to Kiki. Thanks a lot for saving me. Bye. Hey mister, you should be careful too. Lots of monsters are running loose nowadays. All the grown-ups say it's a rebellion led by Surge. And I heard this Surge is trying to kill everyone on the island. I can't believe someone would want to do that. I wonder what's going to happen to us. Ooh la la, there is so much havoc going on in this world too. Not bad, Surge. You've wiped out the whole island. A revolt led by Surge? Is Surge siding against the people? Well, the fake Surge, yeah. He's going around in my likeness. I missed the other world because it has the better world map theme. Actually, I don't know. It's a kind of hard. It's a hard uh, decision between the two because the other one is like the Chrono Trigger sound to it.
Hey man, sorry, only Arnie residents are allowed through here. They're all taking shelter from the evils of Surge and his minions. Oh, I thought they were going to talk. We sure seem to be living in troubled times, man, but I ain't about to leave my island. I guess that's what they call Dragon Spirit, man. So you want to rest, man? Have a good night, man. I wonder if Surge fits in his own bed now that he's in Lynx's body. Lynx has got to be taller. I don't even see a bed in this room. That'd be exactly 100G, man. Didn't I let you rest here? Quit complaining, man. Thanks, man. Bro, this is my room. Isn't it? Is this not my house? Chrono's house? Isn't this Chrono's house? <laughs> in the future, in the past, in the past and present, future, participle, other universe? It makes sense. Whose boat is this? That's true, I'm in another world, so I guess not. It's my it's my room in a different world, so you should give it to me for free. not have just walked in on someone's creepy cat shrine in their basement that no one knows about with a triforce on the floor so what if Surge and his minions invade I'm not going to run no use hiding anymore true love and peace of mind are in our hearts okay that's great May I ask you why you have a creepy sphinx dungeon with a straw man in your house? Can you can I ask that? You can explain that? Also, why does his head like freak out when I talk to him? You see that? His head like breaks. <laughs> what in the world? What did I just witness? YouTube's always trying to explain to me stuff about this game. How about explain that to me? That's what I'd like to know. Give me the give me the in-depth lore on that room. I'd like to hear it. You're back. Everyone's taking shelter over at the village chiefs. Who knows when Surge's minion will invade our village? Oh me? I'll be fine. It's too late to run away now. It's my penance for not facing up to reality. Reality has finally caught up with me. Okay. <laughs> well, you see, that guy is a cat demon, and he worships cat demons and straw men. So do I go to Fossil Valley? What if I go to Divine Dragon Falls? Maybe these people will finally let me in. Oh, maybe. There didn't seem to be anything worthy of note inside of here. Hey, Captain! Let's head home. Hey, I can finally go in here. There's creepy face rocks. It appears that the altar at the back of this cave was made to house the dragon tier, but the strange thing is that there was only meant to be one dragon tier in this land, and yet the altar has two holding stands. I wonder what that could indicate. Ancient lore reveals that the Dragonites knew of certain land formations they called power spots. There they have said that they used the natural energy of the planets to generate elements. That's fascinating. 
Here's the lore. He used to be a fisherman, but gave up his reality to worship idols. The Straw Doll is a character called Mojo, who you could have recruited if you came earlier, but you missed it. That is incredibly fascinating. <laughs> I'm also not shocked that it's something ridiculous like that. It appears to have been made to hold something. Yeah, this is creepy. I don't think I have anything for this. How about the big egg? No. Don't mind the ominous hum. Totally normal. Well, I mean, I gotta go wake all the Dargons, right? So I guess we gotta get back to Termina so I can get on a boat.